Is this the Pixel 5a 5G? Let's open the box and find out. Dave Taylor here, and I just got this box via FedEx from Google. I'm pretty darn sure it's the Pixel 5a 5G. Let's open it up and find out. First off, my unboxing tool. Don't use this at home, be careful. And I want to tell you that assuming it is the 5G unit, then the Pixel 5a actually does have some improvements over the generic Pixel 5. Now, I already have a Pixel 5, that's this phone here, and it's great, it's a great phone. But the 5a has a bigger display, actually, so we'll get to it, but the 5, the display is six inches, it's an OLED at 90 hertz. The 5a, if that's what's inside, is 6.34 inch OLED at, uh, <laughs> and look what's inside. So, in fact, it is, sure enough, the Pixel 5a 5G, and this has a 6.34 inch OLED screen at 60 hertz. So, let's open up the box and see what's inside. Now, the phone also features the Titan M security chip, which is a good thing that gives it very high security ratings. And this one will have six gigabytes and 128 gigabytes of storage, and it has a bigger battery. So the 5 has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, but the 5A reputedly has a 4620 milliamp hour battery. Now, let's see. Um, it's not listing it on the back, so I don't know. We'll find out. I did get it in mostly black color, so thank you, Google, for sending that in this color. And here it is. So here's the phone. I am pretty darn confident it'll just turn on. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and take the protective plastic off. And let's just have a quick look to see comparison of screen size. Yeah, it's definitely a bigger phone. It's significantly taller. So that's pretty sweet. And the buttons, let's see. Well, it's more of a sort of um, sense button with a slight wave to it rather than the metal button of the 5. You can see that in this close-up. And otherwise, it has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the top. Yay, the 5 does not have an audio jack. I am such a fan of that. Great job adding that, Google. And the bottom looks exactly the same with USB-C on both of them. We'll put the 5 down, the 5A's more fun. This is more fun for your buck. <laughs> so, bigger battery, bigger display. Um, it's the same camera setup. The camera bump is going to come with the Pixel 6, which is not far down the road. This is just there. Let's get that 5G phone out. Now, let's see what else is in here. So, there is this, which contains, let's see, we have a meet your new Pixel documentation. And, of course, safety warranty and regulatory guide in case you really want to read something really small and then there is the sim removal tool kind of buried in here i'm not sure it's supposed to have fallen down that far i might have to take this thing apart to get to it but let's see if we can get that tool out now nope, that's not going to be easy i'll have to get to it later but you know what they look like and then it shows you where the SIM is found on the 5A. Sure enough, it is on the lower left side. Easy enough. And then here's what else is in the box. What is this, you ask? Well, obviously, we have a power charger, and that's USB-C, which means that I am highly expecting to have a USB-C to USB-C cable. But before we get there, notice that they have a USB-C to USB-A adapter, which is really handy. So if you have a peripheral you want to plug into your Pixel 5a and you don't have USB-C on it, then that solves the problem. And then there is indeed a cable inside with, you guessed it, USB-C on both ends. So that's all there is. That's the full unboxing. So you can see everything included Sadly, the 5A does not include a Google Pixel 5, but otherwise, that's everything. And this is in the mostly black color, very attractive. 
Couple more things about this while I'm chatting with you is it does feature Google Assistant and the Pixel has a really cool version of Google Assistant because it can do things like screen spam calls. And when you're put on hold, it can do hold for me, which it's gonna listen to that hold until someone starts talking and then it will tell you, hey, someone's come back. So you don't have to sit there and listen. That's pretty nice. So not much else to talk about. I am looking forward to trying this out. I love the bigger screen. I love the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Such great improvements. This is really great stuff. And you know, the Pixel 6, super interested in seeing what they add with that. Rumor has it, it's gonna have a whole lot better camera. And this is already a really sweet camera based on my experience with the Pixel 5. So how much is it? Well, before I tell you the price, let me just ask if you could subscribe to my channel. I do unboxings, I do reviews, I'm candid, I'm straight, I'll tell you the good and the not so good. So click or tap on that subscribe button and we're connected. Give me a thumbs up if you found this to be useful and valuable. I hope you find these unboxings interesting. I'm always curious what's in that box, right? And now you know. So the Google Pixel 5a 5G will cost you $449 flat out, or you can get it for $18.71 a month for 24 months, and you can get a whole lot more info about it at store.google.com. That's all I got. I'm going to go and configure this baby so I can switch my SIM card from the 5 to the 5A and then go from there. So I'll catch you in my next video.